Hey guys, so it's been quite a while since I've done a get ready with me video so I thought that's what we could do today. I'm gonna start with Beauty Treats Lip Care and this is in the jojoba flavor or formula because it doesn't really have a taste to it. This this is so nice I could just do this with my lips because it moisturizes your lips to the degree that it almost looks like a lip gloss. So you could just do this if you wanted to. What I love about this though is it moisturizes my lips and they stay moisturized for a really long time. Like way longer than a traditional lip balm. I got this on shopmissa.com um, so that is that. And next we're going to prime my face with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I'm going to use the Sephora Pro Flawless Airbrush. I have a serious dip. This is beyond a dip. This is like I've hit pan on this. Yeah, I like this primer. But I also love to try new things, so when it's finished, I'll either use something else that I already have, or I'll try something new. But I do like this. This is really moisturizing, so if you have dry skin, you would probably love this. My skin is borderline. It's, um, I would say it's normal to dry. But ever since I saw this in uh, one of Jeffree Star's videos and he was comparing it to a more expensive version, the, uh, what was it? Was it the Tatcha one? God, that seems like it was forever ago now. Speaking of Jeffree Star, did you guys see his Dollar Tree? video. I shop there all the time for makeup so I was like oh my god I'm gonna love this video. In the video he was talking about this peach corrector and uh, he was saying that this was one of his favorite products that he tried of everything he bought and I was like oh thank god I have a backup of this because this is my favorite corrector slash concealer too. He was saying um Oh, they didn't have any concealers. You don't need a concealer when you have this because this is, it will take the place of your concealer. But the peach one, I know everybody loves this other than me because um, it's usually sold out anyway, but now it'll definitely be sold out that he was showing it, talking about it. I'm really glad that he did that video because it showed that, you know, you can get some decent makeup from Dollar Tree. People associate dollar makeup with, you know, being bad quality, but I've gotten tons of stuff from Dollar Tree and Shop Miss A that was only $1 that I absolutely love. And it makes me feel like I don't want to spend a ton of money. Now it feels like when I buy something expensive at the drugstore, it feels like high-end makeup now. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I had the foundation that he used in that video too, so I pulled that out. Uh, this is Sassy and Chic Moisturizing Foundation. And it, you know, it doesn't say on here what the shade is, so it must have been on the packaging. So let me um, find that out. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mine is in the shade light. I didn't want to say unless I was absolutely positive, though. But yeah, it isn't written anywhere on here. He bought light and medium, and then he mixed the two, which, I don't know. You know, he's very fast, so I don't know why light didn't work for him. I'm going to just shake this up a little bit 
because um, when you use liquid foundation, it separates and not that many people remember to mix it. Okay, so that's how much I've got there. I'm gonna dot that all over and I'm thinking that that may be enough for my whole face. Let's find out. See, that's not too light for me. And he's lighter than I am, so I don't know why. You know, some people like to make their foundation darker than their actual skin color. I can think of a lot of YouTubers right off the top of my head that do that. And I don't know, I guess people just like to have more of a sun-kissed, bronzier look about them. trying to put some on my eye area too because um, the eyeshadow primer that I use it gives some coverage but not a ton okay next would be powder I've gone back to using powder since I came back to YouTube and I don't know it just it makes my makeup look really finished this is a Wet n Wild powder brush, and I'm using P.S. Rose Powder. This is from Primark. I know that, you know, Primark is not easy to come by. We don't have that many Primarks in the United States. But slowly but surely, you know, they're coming here. And their makeup is very hit and miss. Some of it I love, some of it I hate, some of it is just okay. You really just have to kind of try things out or watch YouTube videos and find out what is worth buying. That's a good way to do it. This is just a little container from Dollar Tree that I like to swirl the powder around in. Because with loose powder, you pretty much have to have some kind of a cap. And this cap is not nearly big enough to get a big powder brush in. Yeah, I like this rose powder because it's pink, so it blends in well with my skin. It doesn't make my face pink, it just, I don't know, it gives it like, um, almost like a radiant look without really adding any color, but it's not, doesn't have shimmer or anything in it, I don't know, it just kind of brightens my skin, that's what I'm trying to say, it brightens my skin. Okay, and for contour today, I pulled out my Revolution Ultra Contour Palette. Does this have a shade? No, it's just got multiple shades in it. I haven't used this in a, quite a while, and it's very good, so I really should use this more often. And it has a big mirror in it. So I'm going to use, I would say this shade would probably be my best bet. And I like to go in with my foundation brush and just dab the brush a little bit. I haven't used this in a long time. So everything in this video costs under eleven dollars. I think this is ten at Ulta. This side. There we go. Okay, for a blush, I'm going to use this Milani Powder Blush in Coral Cove. Isn't that pretty? And 
I'm just going to use this. Uh, I've had this Sonia Kashuk blush forever. I think the most expensive things that I'm using today. Oh, the Elf Poreless Putty Primer. How much was that? You know, I think that's like around six. So the three most expensive things I'm using are this Milani blush, the Revolution Contour Palette, and the next product that I'm going to use, which is the Milani Make It Last Setting Powder in the shade Radiant. This is this is a highlighter, really. It's not really, it's not a setting powder, it's a highlighter. And it comes with like a sifter thing in there. I know the light is making it difficult to see. Okay, so this is a Wet n Wild um, highlighter brush from a limited edition collection. So I'm just picking up some product. And then I'm going to grab the cover and swirl my brush and then tap off the excess. Now this shade looks good when I have a little bit of color on my skin. And it has been raining nonstop for literally months. We've had like a few days in between here and there where it hasn't rained, but it was cloudy on those days. I can only think of like two days over the course of the last few months where it wasn't raining. I don't know what is going on, but I know a lot of you, even people that don't live in my part of the country, you're all experiencing this too. So I don't know what's going on, but I hate it. Because I had just uh, started a new hobby, which requires me to be outside to do it, and it's done nothing but rain. What is the hobby, you may ask? Kite flying. I hadn't done it since I was a little girl. And oh my God, <laughs> it's so much fun and so inexpensive, you know? They sell really fun small kites at Dollar Tree that work fantastic. They're only a dollar. So if it rips or you break it or something, no big deal, you just buy another one. My husband, uh, spent more for his kite at another store and he couldn't get the darn thing up in the air when we went one day because his is big and fancy and heavier and um, so I had a spare one of from Dollar Tree in, in the car and I was like well try my other one sure enough went right up so yeah I haven't it's it's been doing nothing but rain you can't fly a kite in the rain and oh, it's just so frustrating because we had such a good time Okay, um, so face products are done. Let's move on to eyeshadow primer. This is Amuse Cosmetics eyeshadow primer in the shade Clean Slate. This is a Sephora concealer brush. I feel like that is the best brush to apply this. I'm just gonna put that all over. So yeah, I wanna I wanna go kite flying again. What's nice about kite flying too is you don't have to worry about bugs. Like the other hobby that we used to do all the time was hiking. But the problem with that is you get out in the woods and you get to worry about ticks and mosquitoes and all that stuff. But when you go fly a kite, you know, you're flying it like out in a field and in the direct sunlight. So the bugs usually don't come out in the direct sunlight. Not those kind of bugs anyway. Okay, eyeshadows. I'm going to use two of the eyeshadows that I got at Dollar Tree from Sinful Colors. I'm going to use Flaunt, which is the lightest blue you've ever seen in your life. And I'm going to use Primal, which is a bright blue. So let's start with Flaunt. And I'm going to use that same brush that I used to apply my eyeshadow primer. And put 
that on there and I'm going to put that all over my eye area. Yeah, this is like the lightest blue you've ever seen. It's so pretty though. It has like this, um, how would you describe that? I guess it would be like a, a frosty finish. Frost, yeah. But it's not one of those annoying frosts, you know what I mean? Frost finish products can be a bit much if, if they're too intense. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna go in with that primal, primal shade. And uh, I need to grab another brush. Well, I might as well use this Morphe brush because the last few times I used that eyeshadow, it stained this blue and I couldn't get it out. Well, I could have if I really wanted to, but I didn't put much effort into it. But I, I know that if I had used a different type of cleanser, I could have got that out. So I'll try that today. Just use a different thing to clean with. Okay, now, like I said, this is really intense. So I just put a tiny little bit in there and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna dab that on the outer part of my lid and then the outer part of my crease. And then I'm gonna Buff it inward. So I want it to fade from darkest blue into that lighter blue. And I'm going to do the rest off camera because in order to do this right, it's going to take a long time, a lot of blending. So be right back. Okay, so next I'm going to take this Maybelline Tattoo Studio Gel Pencil Liner in the shade Intense Charcoal. And I'm going to run that right at the base of my lash line. And I'm also going to run that on my tight line. My eyes are pretty sensitive and this is one of the few eyeliners that I can use that don't irritate my eyes. Okay, this is a Shiseido Lash Curler. Just gonna give this a, a quick curl. And for mascara, I've been using AOA Studio Fat Lash Mascara. This is just a dollar from Shop Missé. It's pretty good. It's a very wet mascara, though. So if you don't like wet mascaras, then you probably won't like this. I have what I'm doing. I'm just scraping like the excess off the brush, so I won't get won't have any problems with, um, you know, getting uh, clumps or whatever. Yeah, I like wet mascaras because I feel like they, they show up. I try, I used to wear false lashes a long time ago, but I can't be bothered. Too much aggravation in a million different ways. I'd rather just use mascara. I know your lashes don't show up as much, but uh, 
I think the thing that turns me off about false lashes is the glue. Okay, for brows, I took this out this morning and I was like, why did I put this away? I'm always buying and trying new things. And then the things that I like the most <laughs> get pushed aside and get neglected. And this is one of them. This is the Neutrogena Nourishing Brow Pencil. And it's in the shade brown. But this is such a nice formula. I find that with most pencils, brow pencils... Uh, they can be a bit dry and they'll snap if you try to use them or if you've only had them for a short time they just dry out and start snapping. This isn't like that. This is a wetter formula. I mean it's not wet, it's a pencil, but it's um just really easy to deposit color just doing these small brush strokes. You don't have to struggle to get the product to appear on your brow. Whereas with other brow pencils, I feel like you have to push down so hard. And this, because this is a softer formula, as you're doing the little strokes, it's blending at the same time. This is definitely a really, really great formula brow pencil. And this shade of brown is so close to my natural brow color. Okay, the other end of it has a spoolie. So I like to just brush through. Even though the application process blends it, I like to go through at the end and just brush through it and brushing in the direction of the brow hairs. All right. And for lips today, I'm going to use this L'Oreal lip color, and this is in the shade It's shade number 422 I Don't. If they make the print any smaller on makeup packaging, it'll be invisible. I like that you have plenty of time to work with this with some liquid lipsticks. They have so much alcohol in them that you have to, you know, get it on fast and and then don't get your lips near each other or anything and this is this is fine. You can take your time applying it and it goes on beautifully. I didn't use a lip pencil or anything. Don't need to. This is very very nice formula by L'Oreal. I don't. That's the name of it. Although, I don't know, red lips with blue eyeshadow, eh, that's a bit much, but hmm. live a little, try a dangerous combination, what the heck. <laughs> 
Um, that is it, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.